All right, so now we're going to look at one that involves not only time, but also compound interest. So let's start by identifying the things that we need. Selma deposits 15,000 dirhams into a savings account on March 10th, 1995. Okay, so 15,000 is our principal. Our starting date is March 10th, 1995. The account pays 5.9%. Okay, great, so that is our rate, and it is compounded quarterly. So because of this word, compounded quarterly, that means that our M is 4. What is the amount in her account on September 10th, 1999? And I want you to pay attention to 10 if the interest rate stays constant. Okay, well first, in order to do this, we are going to need to figure out the amount of time between these two dates. Because they both have a 10 in them, 10th to 10th, we can actually just look at months. So we're going to start with this. We're going to go March 10th, 1995, all the way to March 10th, 1999. So that way we're starting to come close to that date. And 1995 to 1999 is four years. Okay, now from March 10th, to September 10th. Okay, so for that we're going to have to count March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So we actually have six months. So here, this is going to say six months. Excuse me, HS. So that means that our time if we add these two together, is 4 and 6 over 12 years. So this is our T. Okay, so we have R, we have P, we have RM, and now all we need to do is find the amount in her account, which is the S amount. It is the maturity amount in the account. All right. So we will start by using the compound interest formula. Formula is S equals our principal was 15,000. And then we have this 1 plus. Now instead of being I, remember we need to take the rate and divide by 4. So the rate is 5.9% divided by Rm, which is 4. And this is going to be raised to the time multiplied. Okay, so 4 and 6 twelfths times 4. Okay, so I'm going to do that, times 4. So we're going to actually figure out the N value beforehand. So. To make a mixed number, you have to hit shift fraction. 4 and 6 twelfths. And we're going to multiply this by 4. And we get that our n value, or what we're raising it to, is going to be 18. OK, so this is a lot of information. Let's go ahead and be very careful when we put it in the calculator. 15,000, great, times. 1 plus, we're going to make it a fraction, 5.9% over 4, close parentheses, and we're raising it to the 18th power. So what should finally be in her account after those four and a half years is 19,523 and 35 fills. 19,523 dirhams and 35 fills. And this is how you involve not only time, but maturity amount for compound interest.